my father did his best to get me to read James Baldwin, to, to read a um, letter from Birmingham Jail by Martin Luther King. I mean, to really understand um, a larger tradition. But he also, somewhat uh, in the way that you write about identity, he always believed that um, my identity didn't begin or end um, with the social reality of my blackness. So um, he uh, kind of had his life saved by being a fatherless black boy in Texas um, without anyone in his family having an education. But he stumbled upon um, Plato's dialogues at some point in his childhood. Wow. And he picked it up and he tried his best to read it. And it didn't make sense to him at first, but he was very early on aware that there was something out there that linked him with a, with, with a towering Greek, Greek mind um, and, that, and that if he could access it, he could potentially access the wider world. And he would read books uh, by himself in his closet with a flashlight. Mm -hmm. And, his, and his, um, his family would say, what are you doing? You're going to get yourself in trouble. Mm -hmm. Don't read those books. Mm -hmm. but, but he, or very early on, I mean, Aesop's fables were, were huge for him. Um, so he always, he would give me, you know, Flaubert and things like this. He, he always had a sense that uh, you can see yourself in many different um, in many different places and in many different um, figures. And so that identity is not just being black.